Have you ever fought a bigger opponent like this guy here? Well, I have many times. When I was younger, I was super chubby, so I always had to fight people who were taller than me despite being in the same weight category. So what I would do is I would actually jump up and try to punch them in their face because they were so tall. But what I didn't understand was that the secret to fighting a bigger opponent is not to have a technical advantage but a tactical one and that is exactly what you're gonna learn in today's video the correct tactic two different versions plus a very important concept known as ma'ai plus an awesome exercise that you can use to learn how to fight and hopefully defeat a bigger opponent check it out Hey guys, I'm Jesse from KarateByJesse.com, aka The Karate Nerd, and today I'm joined by my brother Oliver, a professional MMA fighter who just had his last UFC fight in London. So he knows what it's like to fight people who are big, because he's actually bigger than me. I don't really fight people because I'm a wuss, but today I'm gonna show you how to fight somebody, especially if they're bigger. And the main principle that we need to start with is something known as mai, which is a Japanese word that refers to the distance of engagement between you and your opponent. See, I want you, if, if you could just stand in a fighting stance, all right? I want you guys at home to imagine a line going between me and Oliver here. And then there is another line going this way. So we have the line of attack between us, and then we have the line of defense separating us. Together, this cross is known as Mai in Japanese. That's a symbolical representation of this engagement space between us. And the key to understanding how to use Mai to your advantage is to know how to make and take space. And that's exactly what you need to do if you're fighting a bigger opponent. So, let's say me and Oliver are fighting and I'm gonna make myself really small just so you guys understand that he's the big one. Now, I don't wanna stand here because he can reach me easier than I can reach him because he has longer arms, right? So the question, whenever you're fighting a bigger opponent is how can you get close enough to hit them before they manage to hit you? And the tactic is to make space or take space. Look, so we're gonna start off fighting and what happens is I try to take space. I try to move as close as I can without crossing the line where he can punch me, of course. I wanna stay right on that edge of the line where he can barely touch me because I wanna draw out a reaction. I wanna pull out a reaction by applying pressure. I keep moving, I keep moving, he keeps backing up until he feels that he can touch me. But, of course he can't, because I am in control of the distance. I am trying to stay right behind that line of defense, right? So what happens when he attacks? He leaves an opening for me to go in and close that gap, which is the key concept that you need to do if you're smaller than your opponent, right? So, again, the first concept, I take space. I put pressure on my opponent. I keep moving, I keep moving until he feels compelled to attack, which is when I see my opening. Unless he knocks me out, right? Because you really need to understand where that line is. And you're gonna learn that in the exercise that you're gonna do soon, right? But now let's move on. So the second way, instead of taking space, is making space. So this is kind of the opposite, meaning as we're fighting, I move back. I move back and try to draw him closer to me by creating this gap between us. Now, of course, he will start chasing me, right? He will keep coming towards me. He will keep, he will, uh, he will be like a shark in water smelling one drop of blood, right? So his bloodlust increases. He keeps pushing, he keeps pushing, and as he comes in for his attack, I go before him. I close that gap because here's the thing. If you're smaller than your opponent, that usually means you are faster. And when you're inside of your opponent's range, it's very difficult for him or her to defend. 
and you have the advantage. Again, that is why you wanna get close. You wanna close that gap as soon as possible by manipulating the ma'ai, the engagement or combative distance, as the translation goes from Japanese. So, that was the second concept. You make space. You allow your opponent to believe that he is, in fact, pushing you back, but then you close that gap, close the distance, before he has any idea what happened. So now that you know the two main tactics and you understand the concept of my, that cross between us of attack and defense, now let's look at an awesome exercise that really puts everything into practice. Something that you can do with your friends, with your mom, in your dojo, with your sensei, with any person basically. Okay, so all you need for this exercise is a rope or a belt, doesn't really matter. Something that can stretch but it also needs to be able to bend or fold. So I see some people using like a staff or a stick between uh, two people, but that's kind of the opposite concept of what we actually want to practice. So look here, I'm just gonna attach this rope to me. And now I want you to, first of all, find the right distance. Kind of if Oliver stretches his arm, we got the fist and we got my fist together. That's usually about the correct distance, okay? So, this is secured, bam. This is secured, bam. Now, here's the concept. We wanna keep this stretched if we're defending because this means I'm in danger, right? This is a good distance because he can't hit me. If I'm further away, there is no real fight. There is no engagement happening or no possibility. So that means I'm super safe. And that's good for self-defense. But this is mano a mano. It's a, an agreed fight, okay? So this means we wanna keep this rope stretched all the time. So we're basically just gonna try moving around. And if you start jumping like a puppy immediately, it's gonna be very difficult. So you start by moving slowly and Oliver is leading, okay? He's the bad guy. My job is to adapt and adjust according to his movements. So Oliver moves, my, ah, 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 ah. can you see how it kind of stretches and bends and moves around? Remember, my job as the defender, as the good guy, is to keep it tight, stretched, stra ah, straight, 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 straight all the time. And if this happens, look, if this happens, then Oliver should fire some shots, not for real because it's not a real fight, but just to kind of demonstrate that, ah, I got you there. So we keep moving. Ah! You get the point. Doesn't matter what side, right side, left side, what stands, punches, kicks. That's not the point. Remember, it's not about the technique. When I was a young chubby kid, my favorite technique was to jump up and punch big people in the mouth. But that only worked some of the time because I didn't understand that it was about the tactics, not the techniques. This is a tactic, something that you can apply no matter what technique you want to use it with. Anything to add? No. Right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to defeat a bigger opponent. <laughs>